what's going on guys welcome back to the channel as we as we talked about last time we finished up with the oil cash can here right there so this time we're gonna work on the uh, overflow tank so I got a Mishimoto radiator coming in in the, the next few days so we'll be able to overlap those two and kind of get the whole cooling system finished up in one video so so sit back relax and enjoy the video all right so you know the deal I got my uh, first attempt this is the one I was getting into uh, welding aluminum looks like crap but uh, I want to make a new tank out of cardboard just like I did the oil cash can and then we'll transfer that into the aluminum As you can see there that that relief cut is for the uh, bottom mount here and then the triangle one in the back that one is because that corner is uh, higher so it allows the uh, can uh, to you know to sit lower uh, just in case it hits the hood but uh, yeah pretty much what it should look like it's got some gap there and all around Alright, so I'm just gonna trace it out on the aluminum sheet and start cutting. Alright, before I continue with this, I'm missing a few AM fittings to complete that, but I got my Mishimoto radiator here, and um, so I hope that this fits. This is for a BMW, this is not for the Mazda Speed 3, because I don't make one for the Mazda Speed 3. So, seeing the uh, dimensions, and where the inlet outlet is, it should work, but I'll let you know. So this thing is two inches wide. 18 tall by 26 so it, it is it is smaller 
than the uh, Mazda Radiator. On both the length and the height, so it should work. So you see, you got that one, and that one's the same positions as the uh, OE Mazda Radiator. You know what, let me, let me pull it out. All right, here you have it in front. So that one is a little higher than this one, but this guy right there is in the same spot, so that's important. And then you got the temperature sensor there, and it goes over there on the BMW, and then the inlet here, and then the inlet back there. So where everything is is pretty similar. You can tell that this one is taller, but it's way narrower. So on an OEM, mounting location it might not work but since i got my front end uh, all custom made with tubing it might just work all right this thing could not sit any more perfect than what it is right now it's insane so we still got pretty good gap there in between the intercooler and the radiator and then from on top, you can't see it, it still, still sits below. And then, it's not hitting my uh, my tubing down there. Got good, good clearance all around. Same thing over here. And the mounting points are also pretty damn good, because uh, so that's it right there. That takes a rubber grommet with a piece of metal holding it. So I can literally use these and make a bracket to catch that guy. Same thing on the other side. I got the tubing to do it there. And then up here, looks like this little guy goes bolted to something to hold it in place, which I could also, you know, make a removable part easier that I can hook up and unbolt. Now this is the problem I'm having, the rib nuts that come with it for the fan shroud around the other side. I'm gonna have a fan that is a puller, not a pusher, so I'm gonna have to add uh, new rib nuts on this face. But yeah, I mean, everything worked out pretty good. Pretty happy with this. All right, I'm going to attempt to do something here. So the threads on this sens temperature sensor are not the same as this uh, cap, I guess you want to call it, that the radiator has for the OEM BMW sensor. So what I'm going to attempt to do here is to drill through it, tap the back, so put the threads on the back of this, and just have a hole coming through the center. Coming through the center here. All right, so that way I don't have to weld a new bung on the uh, radiator. So I'm gonna give that a shot. If it doesn't work, then I'll just close this up on the radiator and that's it. Well, I guess the hole was too big and it broke off from the bottom, but it don't matter. I got to tap some threads into that, so, and it bolts just fine. there so what i'm gonna do is well this guy to the radiator while right where you used to thread into weld it from the outside and then that's it i got my temperature sensor there all right i got my two Paper brackets. You know what I want them to. Do. So I'm just gonna transfer them to uh, metal, cut them out, and weld it, weld it on. But I gotta take apart the front end first. There is some more work that needs to go into here.
All right, so a little update here. I got my two bottle mounting points welded. Right there. Um, I made some changes though, so I, I ended up moving the radiator all the way to the back over here. It's got about an eighth of an inch away from the intercooler. And uh, the idea behind it is that when I do the, uh, the fan shroud plus the fan, it doesn't stick inside too much. Then again, I don't have the engine here, so I don't know how much room I really got here. So I'm just trying to prevent any uh, rework on here. Plus, if it's closer, if it's closer to the intercooler, I got more chances of the air getting sucked through by the fan through the intercooler and the radiator as well plus look at that man that, that looks awesome all right so the next thing up here is you can see here i got a little threaded uh bung right there same thing on the other side right there so those are the the upper mounting points i just gotta just gotta do some tabs aluminum tabs to hook up to it and that will be it then I'm pulling it out and work on the fan shroud That's pretty much it for that guy. And I already made the other side over there. So it's sitting pretty strong. It's not moving anywhere. Of course, it's got the rubber isolation there. Right there, so that's just to prevent uh, any harsh vibration from cracking the aluminum pretty much what what it's all about so what I'm gonna do next here is uh, I gotta take the radiator back out and uh, start working on that fan shroud all right so I got the AM fittings that I needed these two right here so we're gonna switch back now to the uh, oil flow tank and roll those up as well as this guy Here I got the fittings welded on there and the filler neck also with welded on. So I'm gonna wipe all this down with acetone one more time. I got the rest of the stuff and then this guy I had to put a 90 degree bend on it somewhere here. So we're gonna have to do that next.
all righty so it is done I just gotta add the mounting tabs to it so if we place it over here you can see uh, one of them is gonna go over there to the rib nut that I previously installed and then probably do one more down there where that bolt is and probably one down this side here So yeah, I'm gonna try to get it powder coated tomorrow. Same thing with this guy. And then keep on working on the radiator. All right, so here I got my Mishimoto radiator with my Mishimoto fan. It's a single fan, I believe it's a 16 inch fan. Let me just double check for you guys. Yeah, it's a 16 inch fan um, so you can see it takes a lot of the space so that's what we want so i got my sheet of aluminum here i just measure this over here so we're gonna cut it just a little bit longer than what we need and exactly the same height the reason why we want it longer is because we're gonna bend it it's gonna have a slight uh, slope to it on both sides So I got this stuff uh, laid out on the aluminum sheet. So what I'm gonna do now is put it on the on my crappy ass bender and try to put a slight bend on both of those lines. So that's what it's looking like so now i'm gonna have to create uh the one the size that go down it's kind of like an l bracket and that's where it's gonna bolt bolt up to the uh to the radiator there This is what I got so far. So you see here, I got this nice sandwich uh, edge here. So I'm just gonna put some uh, rim nuts on the other side here and bolt it. Probably three of them should be uh, sufficient. And then I got a little gasket for that side to seal it. And right, here's the, uh, the gasket. I got it at Lowe's. It's just uh, some weather seal for auto marine. So you can split it in half. You have two, or you can just do all together. But I think we're gonna do half. 
that should be uh, thick enough to seal that edge so that there is no air getting sucked through here so all there is going to get sucked through the radiator. guys fine shroud is complete you can see uh, the rubber the rubber piece sealer right there um, you can kind of see it there so it's got a nice seal all the way around. This dude is pretty, pretty flush out there. There's no air gap. Looking clean. All right. So I, I threw it back in just to to see what it looks like. Check this out. I'm still a little worried <laughs> how much clearance I got here, but I guess we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I think it was a good idea to push to push that radiator as back far as possible. You know? But yeah man, I mean look at this thing. And then the wire, I'm just gonna hook it up to the factory fan and I hope the relay the factory relay is enough uh, to power this fan probably is but uh, again we'll see when we get there all right so I'm gonna have to pull it back out so I can weld the temperature sensor and the AM fittings that's gonna go to it and that will be it for this guy all right guys so everything is finished up up here so the last thing I did to the radiator is weld the AM fittings on both sides. I welded the uh, temperature sensor and I got the other AM fitting right there. And then this guy is something you do just now. So that's all finished, unbolt it. And then, and then Rambo from Ramfab powder coated this, uh, this tank for me. And it looks beautiful right now. I mean, that was the finishing touch for sure. So yeah, that's about it. So on the next episode, you're probably gonna see me uh, paint the engine bay. That's the next step. I mean, we're pretty much done with fabrication or front. And then right after that video, you're gonna see a video of uh, building the transmission. And by building the transmission, I mean uh, swapping the gears out not the gear but the main shaft so it's gonna change the ratio to uh, 3.6 so that's gonna give me longer gears hopefully go over 200 miles per hour that's the plan anyway we'll see if we make it through but yeah that's gonna be it for this video so hope you like it uh, again please subscribe it helps the channel a lot and like this video thank you see you on the next one